so part two, uh, here I am for my, my trial, That's my uh, court case is coming Tuesday, 11, 1.30 at uh, June 11th at the courthouse. I'm tired, I'm sorry. So, Judge Garnett said we're gonna continue. They had police officers after police officers to testify. Then that she asked me, Mr. LeBlanc, do you have anything to say? I said, I can't. Anything I say will be held against me. Next, 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 next. Anyway, I never said a word and uh, it was, it, it was, Terrible. So Judge Garnett, which the next day closing argument, I never said a word. And she looks at me, she goes, Oh, by the way, Mr. LeBlanc, anything you say would have never be held against you. Just want to let you know. Well, it's pretty late, Dad. The trial is over. So it's issues like that. So me and a couple of people, educated, won't mention no names, we put an appeal in. And then we put everything together to make sure we follow the deadline. We were set to an appeal. So I showed up at McGemmis Cooper. I give the appeal to McGemmis Cooper. And then I showed up at the registered office at the Justice Building here in Fredericton. Next thing you know, everything, they just didn't say thank you. Here's, here's, the, here's the paper. Thank you, Charles. It never happened that way. Then I came face to face with elitist or possibly a racist uh, Richard Scott. Stay tuned.